I'm going to show you the new and by far the best way you can connect to DeepSeek using an AI agent in an N810 workflow. Because as you can see, if you come over to DeepSeek and try to access their API platform, you can see that their platform is down and it has been so for the last couple of days. So what you need to do then is you need to use another service which hosts their DeepSeek uh, models. But as you can see here, the old way of doing this and the way most people do it is by using an open router account. And as you can see here, I have connected to my open router account and use the DeepSeek R1 model. And if I just try to chat to this now and just say, hey, it will work, but it just uses forever. It takes like 20 seconds to get a response. So what you can do instead is I'll just cut to when I get a response. So it took about 10 seconds just to get a reply from saying hey to this open router account that we use DeepSeek R1 through. So the new way you can do this is you can use, use Grok. So I can just show you how fast that is. When I click on test workflow, it's the same message. I'm saying hey. As you can see, an instant response from saying hey to this AI agent using the Grok for the DeepSeek R1 model. So uh, how you can set this up is that you can go to grok.com you can see it's a fast AI interference or inference. It is basically 10 times faster than all the our other AI hosts you can use out there. So they host like DeepSeek R1, for example, uh, locally. So you can use, uh, click on Dev Console. You will come into this playground right here. And what you want to do is you want to click on API keys. You need to sign up and then you come to the playground and then you come to the API keys, click on create API key. And you can copy that API key and come back over to your uh, N10 workflow. And what you want to do is you want to, when you click on this right here, you want to add a new chat model to your AI agent and you want to click on Grok chat model. So in here, you want to connect to your new Grok account. So you want to create a new credential and you want to paste your API key in here. And once you've done that, click on save. And now we'll be able to basically have access to all of these different uh, models. You want to click on DeepSeek R1 Distill Llama. And then you want to click out and you are uh, basically connected to your DeepSeek uh, model. And just to show that they can actually also uh, use the tools in the AI agent, I will just ask the agent uh, what, uh, what contacts do you have in my list? So if I say, what contacts do you have in my list? And test the step and as you can see here i have two contacts in here martin and daniel the uh, deep seek r1 will then find both martin there you go and daniel in that list so if you enjoyed the video please make sure to subscribe and i will see you in the next one